Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T. What's going wow, on, Jonas? that was very passionate. Yeah, I have passion sometimes. Your high passion for this podcast is presumably punctual and proper. Yeah. Yeah, all that a, a, stuff. Alliteration. Yeah, dude. Thank you so much for joining us today live on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Crazy Town Media Live. If you aren't watching live and catching this on YouTube, Crazy Town Media, you, or Spotify, are you or are you, are, iTunes. Are you telling me? I'm telling you. <laughs> I already know. Just thank you for checking this out, man. If you want to you wanna see what's new in our lives, Crazy Town Media on Twitter, you Instagram. Want, you want me to check where I want you it? to. I want you to subscribe no. to our stuff, bro. Hey, quit sh for anyone who's not watching the live video, he's shaking his head no because he knows that if he did, he would never do anything but watch our content. Yeah. It's a trap. <laughs> trap music? Trap. Are you a trap artist and don't tell anybody? Are you Pusha T? Oh my god, Dad, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. TNT, what's up, man? How's your week been since last week? I don't know, dude, I'm alright. Nothing I'm, really going on. You know? I mean, there's some stuff going on. Yeah, the uh, world is happening around us, whether we want it to or not. That is some deep shit right there, Jonas. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know, very, dude. Very I go to work, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's a hard day at the Crazy Town Compound every day. <laughs> Yeah, or the fucking salt mines I work in. Or... <laughs> the salt. You're, I pull all that pink Himalayan salt out one crystal at a time yep. and sell it to you at World Market. You are you are in rare form today, big guy. <laughs> you <know what>? well, <laughs> you're in rare form. You are. This is a rare form. No, dude. Yeah, this no. is a form that I am. I've rare to see. All right. Well, in some form. Well, welcome to the blue edition of the Crazy Town Podcast. What does Hopefully, that mean? we'll get to the legendary purple or the elite gold one day. What does that mean? The rare, you know, rare colors, blue. Oh. Ah, I play video games sometimes. Oh, not yeah, really. Not really. So anyways, man, let's get rolling, dude. What the fuck's going on? What you got? No, you're first. Me? Yeah. Aren't All you, right. Aren't you first this week? I'm fine with that. You want me to go with the story? Oh, we rock, both pa rock, rock, paper, scissors. All thing. Right. Fine. Wait, how do I do this? Uh, <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, Ooh. okay. Oh, fuck you're, yeah. You're All first. right. <laughs> so, have you ever been to Walmart before? Unfortunately. Yeah, like when you go there. Do you, I mean, do you just walk in and do what you got to do and get out? Oh, uh, yeah, because I'm a man, so. Oh, okay. I'm not All trying right. to hang out. That's There's nobody to talk to. Well, some people have a different opinion of what getting in, getting your stuff done, and getting out are. Yes, they're called women, Jonas. No, no, well no, aware. no, no, no. This isn't a sexual. It's not, it's not right. Sexuality. Isn't sexual or sexuality. Either one. I don't even know where the story was from, so it's from Florida. No, of course. <laughs> yeah, we'll say it's from Florida because it seems like it's right up Florida's alley. All right, what did Florida do? A, uh, a mom, a son, and a dog go to Walmart. What could possibly go wrong? I swear to God, if this ends in bestiality, no, I quit. No, no. I only, quit. only episode 10, I the quit. dolphin episode, dude. you got to listen to TNT. No. All right. A 46-year-old woman goes to Walmart with her 25-year-old son and her dog. Uh -huh. So, from what is said here, the first thing that happens is is her dog isn't on a leash and it kind of runs off on its own into the store. As so, dogs do. Oh, yeah, right? So, she's standing in the doorway yelling for the dog instead of, like, going after. dog's name was Bo. Her name was Aww. Crazy Town. That's a good dog name. I know, right? Come here, so, Bo. Bo. So, after the dog has run away and the dog is not coming back to her... Mm -hmm. The first thing she decides to do is run in and start tearing up store displays and is putting them in shopping carts. What is, what is, how does this help get her dog back? Right, right. I don't think she's too concerned about the dog. Let me give you a little... I, there was a picture of this mom and son. The son was 25. He looked about 46. And the mom was 46. <laughs> she looked about 66. <laughs> they, like, I was shocked. <laughs> they had been written hard and left up wet or yeah, something. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, know. exactly. So... You know, as any good Walmart employee would do, they go, ma'am, get the fuck out of here. To which she obliged. Mm -hmm. To which she went outside in the parking lot and started practicing her karate moves <laughs> out in the parking lot. Okay, yeah. Well, I she's mean, like, 
Where else are you going to practice I know. Karate? She was like, I'm going to tear shit up in the store. Oh, oh, you don't want me to tear shit up? I'll tear the air up in the parking lot. Yeah, karate moves. So, then uh, the dog was continually running around the store. By the time they found the dog, he, the dog had a box of <laughs> Jiffy cornbread mix in its mouth. I mean, come on. <laughs> and it was running around the store with that. You know how dogs is and all that. And I'm not sure how they got to arrest her, but she did. at some point, the cops came to arrest this woman. I don't know if she's causing more of a ruckus in the parking lot. Yeah. And uh, basically... By the time she was done being arrested, she had kicked out a cop's window. <laughs> she fucking... But they did get her into custody. So, she was... I mean, she was all hyped up. Her fucking karate was like, ow And she was like, I'll just take out this cop's window. Was this woman high? I, they didn't say, but she looked like she may have participated in a little bit of drugs. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Well, so, I would imagine so, that, that that behavior doesn't sound, con, you know. Yeah. Like what, what's the like, one question on your mind right now? Is she high? No. What was her son doing during all of this? No. I, yeah. Okay. Well, sure. What was her son doing? Jonas? Her twenty-five-year-old son had ran to the back of the store. <clears throat> uh -huh. He had decided to take all of his clothes off <laughs> and get completely naked and start exposing himself mm. to all of the different people in the store so you know just like a normal 25 year old boy walks in rips his fucking wang doodle out starts shoving it in everybody's face honestly that's nice of him it's really like a charity work and yeah he's so, sharing with everybody else himself exactly 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 don't, don't do it at home yep. no 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 so he must have been realizing he was frightening all these people in walmart so he did the next best thing he starts putting his clothes back on but the problem was, he was putting on clothes from the racks at Walmart instead of the clothes he wore into the store. Jonas, if I could tell you how many times this has happened to me. You walk in, take your shirt off, and you're like, you know what? I forgot, you know, and I, I lost my clothes. I forgot what clothes you put on, so you yeah. start putting on clothes. So, the, the cops start chasing this man around the store. And at one point, he hops on a motorized scooter and tries to run one of the cops over with it. Mm. And, uh... Then they finally get him on the motorized scooter because I think he didn't realize that you can walk, out walk a motorized scooter. Oh, he so, was on one of those the, the, the Walmart motorized yeah, scooters. Yeah, exactly. And he tried to run a cop over with it, and that's when they got him. Mm. So the mother and the son were both arrested, and they yeah. and they were kind of and then they're kind of snarky and coy in the article. They're like, they gave Bo the dog a warning for his theft of the Jiffy <laughs> cornbread. <mix." laughs> so. Nice. Could you imagine being in Walmart and seeing that shit go down? How fucking awesome that would be to watch. <laughs> it ain't very awesome for the people who work at Walmart. Oh, though. no, no, no. Fuck no. But, like, mm. that just shows all the cool shit that goes on at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> what cool shit? It's the coolest shit ever. A bunch of fucking mentally handicapped people come in and fucking make a scene. Great. <laughs> And they bring their dog, too. <laughs> Great. I love it when junkies come in and junk up everything else. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me into your household, junkie. I got to see your f fucking track marked up dick and your, <laughs> your fucking crackhead dog. <laughs> he shoots up in his dick. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. You got to hide, hide the yeah, track mark. Yeah, I guess mark. you got to hide the track mark somewhere, right? Yeah. So... I figured I'd start out with a light story. <laughs> is, this the, is this the kind of shit you're bringing now? <laughs> what, I'm bringing? Just, just like crazy Walmart stories? Dude, just this like, is a crazy town podcast. Is this hey. like an incident report at the Walmart now? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Hey, dude, I'm, you know, it's fine. It's fine. All right, that's that's what I got. I figured I'd start it with something very easy easy to digest. All right, well, I'm going to bring... You know what? I, I didn't know what story I was going to do first, but we're going to do this one first. A dose of realism, Jonas. Which, okay. Is this the one that I have a little bit to chime in on, too? It is not. Oh, okay. Right, I can do that one uh, next. All right, cool. I got something I can do. I want to talk about the future, Jonas. Future man? I want you to look forward. Look ahead into the future. I got a good segue for this. Oh, dude, I love the future. I want you to look into the future, but not so distant. How far? How do you think the next level of advertising would be? People getting permanent tattoos? Wrong. Okay. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Ladies. Jonas, it's billboards in space. <laughs> Can you see them from, like, the ground? Yes. Oh, they're putting, like... <laughs> like, you look up at the sun and they see, fuck, you see, like, a Trojan condoms ad? Okay. 
Is that really it? <laughs> Basically, I literally did not know this. All story. right, so uh, a tech startup in a Russian tech startup. Oh. This is important that it's Russian. It sounds about right. It's a Russian tech startup, and they're called a Start Rocket. <laughs> Fair they enough. have they have claimed that they have all but uh, perfected a way of making advertisements that could possibly be viewable from space by not only the people in Russia, but possibly people around the world. So would they put like basically a giant billboard in orbit? So what they're going to do is they have a swarm of tiny reflective satellites that they can launch up okay. and they can kind of like, uh, what they do is they reflect light from the sun, obviously. Okay. And they call them cube shake, cube, sh cube sucks, cube sacks. Cube sacks. Couldn't read my own handwriting. Oh, but uh, essentially, they can make anything that you want. It's almost like a group of LEDs that you can move around, but they're just tiny little satellites. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Uh, now, the thing is, is that they have like a trailer for the service that they are providing for anybody who wishes to advertise. Oh, dude. And it's basically like they'll show like a beautiful mountain scene and then they'll have like a picture of McDonald's <laughs> floating through the <laughs> Is sky. Is Cock Cam going to be on there? Fucking. Just a, a beautiful scenery of like a river in London and KFC floating across the so they're, sky. So they're putting like lush backgrounds and then just like. This, yeah, this is the trailer. This is their selling point. Oh, 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 like you're out in fuck, you're out in the mountains. Yeah, like you, you would, up. yeah, this is what you would oh see. Oh my God, and just like, <laughs> oh my God. So now in America, because our, I, I don't want to say our country's any better than anybody else. Thank you to our Russian viewership. <laughs> but in America, it is actually illegal to have any space-based advertising. Really? Yes. We're having Space Force, but we can't have a fucking space ad? Dude, Space Force is definitely part of this, oh, that's dude. Awesome. We, we need it at this point. I know. We got to fight the advertisers. <laughs> so as it turns out, this is a relatively new uh, form of tech, obviously. Right. Right, right. But they already have a customer. Pepsi Co. of the world, Craig. <laughs> Not just the city. <laughs> the world, Not Craig. the country. <laughs> the world, Craig. <laughs> All right. Co. So they had they are advertising a drink that is uh, an energy drink that is being targeted towards gamers. Gamers rise up. Okay. Put your fist up. Oh John. yeah, dude. Yeah, no, sorry. He's not not a gamer. All right, and it's called Adrenaline Rush. Oh God. So, <laughs> but it's all, it's a, it's a, is it extreme? Is it's pretty fucking extreme. Right there? Right. Like the commercials for this Adrenaline Rush are like people who are playing video games and like their mom will pop in on their screen and be like, no, mom, I'm gaming. Like, don't you respect my game time, mom? And then like she disappears and they sip some Adrenaline Rush and they get into the game, dude. You're oh. in PUBG yourself and you're fucking, so... Okay. But regardless. One time I did that. Regardless, PepsiCo obviously got a little bit of backlash. I don't know how you feel about this, but for me thinking about the skyline of my city or just like looking up and seeing a bunch of different advertisements, because that's necessarily okay. what's going to end up happening. Yeah. Let me. It's a little fucked up. I was pissed when they wanted to put advertisements on NBA jerseys. So how do you think I feel about that? <laughs> what? <laughs> like when they want to put ads on sports team jerseys, that pisses me off. Like, I get I get the stadium. I get the fucking little running boards. Yeah. I get all that. But when you put it on the player. Somebody bought that jersey, Jones. Where do you think right, those monies dude. came from? But, like, when I buy a jersey to wear, I don't want to buy McDonald's well, on it. Well, guess too. what, motherfucker? You didn't buy outside. So Dude, I could have just. Okay. What I, <laughs> what I imagine when you said this. When I went on my trip to, to Europe, yes. to, to the UK, yeah. was going through the Scottish Highlands. Some of those beautiful views I've ever seen in my fucking life. The, the tour bus pulls over. He's like, get out here. Take your picture of this fucking mountain. And I go, I get my camera out. And it's like Taco Bell just floats. By. And all, I, Essentially, that's what it is. You can't get a picture without the Taco Bell. You can't escape it. it. Oh, my God. So dude. you're not happy about this. Nah, dude. Oh, no. That's what, Jonas. You're not the only one. Really? Lots of people oh had a problem God. with the fact that Pepsi, a, a trusted brand, it's been around since we were like little. And oh before, my God! Like our grandparents. Drank well, right. Pepsi. I mean, and granted, it was only like Pepsi and I, it wasn't like all these fucking things. Yeah. So naturally, Pepsi got a little bit of backlash for yeah, uh, dude. being uh, they're essentially the first ones that are putting some serious money behind using this tech. Oh for my God! 
But they said in a tweet that it is a one-time thing and they have no plans on using this technology in the future to advertise. But What? Yeah. Because they got backlash. It just basically gives the the company money. It gives every other corporation a like, oh well Pepsi did it once. Why don't we do it once? I mean, yeah, but they, they said they're not they're sorry. <laughs> Dude, they're I mean, sorry, okay. what do you want? Joe? So I get it. Like we live in Austin. They have Austin <laughs> City Limits Festival, which is one of the biggest music festivals, you know, one of those three day big fuckers. And they have planes fly by with the little, like, tails that say, like, ah, oh, drink your fucking grandmasinthekitchen.com drink and all this other bullshit. Yeah. So, and I mean, I get that, uh, maybe. Grandma's in the kitchen drink, yes. Yeah, dude, you know, whatever. I'm not going to give anybody free advertising. I mean, all our viewers, I don't want to fucking sway their opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um, But, dude, if I was anywhere and looked up in the sky... And there was, like, just a fucking plate of, like, enchiladas from fucking... It's gonna make you feel away. Chilies just fucking ruining up my fucking sight. Like, imagine you climb to the top of Mount Everest. You, big fucking accomplishment. You're like, I need to get myself a picture from the fucking summit to prove. And you couldn't get one without fucking Mountain Dew logo in the fucking picture. <laughs> and the thing is, is that like uh, oh my I don't God. know if like the UN has something about this in their in their memo. I hope so. In their memorandum, it seems like a NATO thing. But we can't really control what another country does with their space program. No, when no. Russia wants to go to the moon, sorry, ship Sputnik up there, man. Yeah, dude, you can't, right. can't stop. So them. Space Force gonna fucking that's where we're on Space Wars. And that is why we need Space Force today. <laughs> Sign up so we can sh- sign in early. Dude, space why Force. do I feel like Starship? Troopers, the movie is going to be like the trailer for Space Force. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a sign. Just two circles. No, dude, that's an S and uh, that's an F, right? Oh, Space Force. Okay, I or got like you. Space, or Space Force or something like that. I'm yeah, sorry, I'm working on. I got it. you. I'm gonna I, have it next time. I think it's good. All right, anyway. you should be the spokesman for Space Force. <laughs> Space Force. Speaking of the future. Yeah, it's fucked, You dude. know. <laughs> it's fucked. You know I love a good creepy story about AI or technology or fucking uh, Alexa in there getting mm, fucking uh, don't say her name. smart products. Yes. Any of that shit? Yes. Well, I, I hope that you're happy to know that Amazon hires people to listen to what you say to Alexa. Oh, that's nice. Good. Yes. Cool. They have... Not denied it. They have actually said they do. They have people, thousands of people in the U.S., Costa Rica, and Romania. Wait a minute. They listen to up to a thousand audio clips a day for nine hours straight. Wait a minute. It said that most of them are mundane. But, you know, sometimes. But what they say is that it only you know like it's like when you say the trigger word alexa records what you say like you can go into your app and be like where you're like alexa show me all the cool stuff about dudes on the internet you know like when you said that I never and, said that <laughs> and uh like mm-hmm. that's all they hear and it has no no identifying information about who you are but what they do is they transcribe all of these what people say and then it gets fed back into the software to improve the software Oh, so they're not actually, like, ans- answering the questions that you ask Alexa. They're just listening. They're listening to the snippets that Alexa records. But, they'll, but like, they said that, it, if so if, they ac- if you accidentally fucking trigger it, accidentally, mm. people are listening to it. Dude, mm. dude, I saw the meme. In the 80s, everyone was worried that you try, that the government was putting a wiretap in our house. In the 2010s, we're putting them in for the government. You gotta put them in, dude. Yeah, we're just like, dude, I, you know what I can't do? What? Pick up my phone and ask Google myself with my fingers. I need to say it out in the air and have it happen. Though, and honestly, Jonas, I don't think that Jeff Bezos is, like, big brother. But whether he wants to be or not, he's forming it. I mean, How is he forming it? He's not stopping it, man. What do you mean? He's not, it's, a, and, it's his product. Why would he Zuck stop it, Mr. Google? Why would Jeff be? Why would he stop it? Why does he? Like I un- look, I understand the issue here. Yeah, dude. I understand yeah, the yeah, issue, yeah. but it, Jeff Bezos is a third party proprietor in in this he whole thing. He created Alexa, man. Yes. 
so he can, you know, sometimes you got to. But he's not working for the government. Do you think he's working? Do you think there's like secret handshakes where they're listening to the U.S. Hussein fucking we got the beat? Hussein fucking we got Hussein. the beat. What is that even? I said Hussein we got the beat. Oh, dude, when you're I like, hey, Alexa, who sang We Got the Beat? You think like him and Donald Trump are behind <laughs> closed doors like we got him. <laughs> we finally got him. Asking. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. But you can't opt out of that. And Alexa said, oh, indeed. but I'm sure they still record you anyway, All right, because yeah. I, uh, I'm not quite a conspiracy theorist. I will opt out yeah, a little bit. You're no, still I mean, a little I conspiracy just, theory. No, I'm not a conspiracy theorist Yeah, because like. I'm not like, I don't like go like fucking propagandizing everything like, oh, you got to stop. It's just fucking creepy, man. Like I just, it's creepy and I see, I can big picture look into the future and see what's going to happen. Jonas, could you tell me why you hate capitalism? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know why, why do you hate I capitalism? I want everyone to be poor and held down. This is what I want to know because this man is just trying to sell a product. Sure, he's listening to some of the shit you say. Don't say fucked up shit. Is that your point? <laughs> no. I mean, in your own home, you can say whatever the fuck you want. No, dude. you can't. Yeah, you, why nah, not? Nah, dude. There's people getting arrested for Facebook posts and shit over the fucking shootings and whatnot. Well, that's not in your own home. That's out in the oh, world. Oh, you're putting in the stratosphere. Yeah. Uh, that's worse than walking out in the street you know, just screaming. A little side note on that. I, I don't want to go into the whole story, but I guess uh, like NBC News or someone got some leaked documents about how... Uh, it's more and more shit's coming out about Facebook about how like how you know they're always like oh we didn't know companies were using your data but like more and more like conversations of IMs through their company and emails about how like like Zuckerberg would like uh, take away access for for apps that were gaining too much traction and like helping out people he knew to give them data to like yeah well yeah yeah but it's like it's like. There's just every time you turn the corner, there's more like stuff like, oh, yeah, hoops. We were just, I mean, well, yeah, we didn't dude. know that was happening. I mean, you know. And this is only the stuff that you're finding out, not the truth, you know. Ice, <laughs> iceberg, I'm a heavy believer in the iceberg effect and what you see is oh, yeah, only dude. like this is what you see. But down here, there's all of this, dude. There's a lot, a lot of dirty deals going on. Yeah, dude. Dirty deeds, too. Ask ACDC. Yeah, I mean, Jonas, I figure if you were rich, too, you'd be doing some dirty if shit. If I was rich? You'd be doing some dirty shit, too. What would I do if too. I was rich? I'd still do this podcast. Would you, would you, would up, you do would you, if you were rich? If you paid me. If I paid you, <laughs> Are you going to up the budget? Up the budget? Yeah, Whew. dude. I want, I mean, like, I want, like, a fucking... I'll get... You know what? You know what I'll do? Shredder mask I will or something. give you a 2000 Actually, two billion percent increase on the budget because you know what two billion percent of zero is still fucking zero. That was that was Jonas. Thank you. Da 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 da. Anyway, all right. Next story. I'm guessing that's kind of fucked up, Jonas. I do agree. Yeah. But could you imagine that's your job? <laughs> Alexa, what's the highest mountain peak? Alexa. What's the weather like in Raleigh, North Carolina? See, now that you say that, that just kind of reminds me of, like, the people who are forced to watch, like, the fucked up YouTube videos or the fucked up videos on uh, Facebook. Oh, the ones that get flagged? Yeah. Because they got to, like, be the ones to take they it have, down. And, like, these people are, like, seriously having, they're getting PTSD. And, like, they have to go see psychiatrists. Because you're sitting there seeing, like, some of the most fucked up shit. Oh, yeah. People are always trying to give shit past the sentence. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's up there with one of those worst jobs in the world. Speaking of which, you see that YouTube's uh, automation flagged the Paris uh, cathedral burning as a 9-11 conspiracy video. (laughs) And they were like, sorry, sometimes it just doesn't get stuff right. (laughs) It doesn't, obviously. I know, right? Nobody got hurt in that, did they? Uh, I don't think so, but that's sad. I mean, real quick, that's relevant. It happened yesterday. Or, yeah, yesterday. That 800-year-old cathedral burnt. It did. But they saved, like, some of the be- like the biggest artifacts, the crown of thorns, shit like that. So, that's I mean, that's cool, man. I didn't know they had that. And thing. go-go gadget billionaires saving the day. Go-go gadget money. Hey. All right, Jonas. Oh, shit. Villa Bang Bang. <laughs> Let's talk. Cynthia Ruth. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, on April 4th, 2017. Telescopes, eight of them acting oh, yeah. in concert. Uh huh. Managed or acting in concert for a week. Eight telescopes around the world, world looking at a single point in space. Was it like Coachella? 
It was Constant. basically. Okay, like, all yes. right. No, it, was, it just means that they were working I, I know, I know. with each just other. Just being an asshole. All right, Jonas. <laughs> don't don't get my shit. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Uh, but correlating, they were able to get the first image of a black hole that we have ever seen. Yeah. Something that we did not think was act possible was made 55 possible. 55 million light years away. Oh, Jonas, a little piece of knowledge here. 54 million light years 54, away. 54, sorry. One, yeah, 54. 54 million light years. One light year is equal to 5.8 trill, trillion miles. Dude. 5.8 That's not close. Eight trillion miles. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, either way, this 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 uh black hole has been dubbed M eighty seven. I don't know. Oh, what a real, it's, what a fucking dude, attention grabber. Fucking scientist, dude. It sounds like a firecracker or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, but one hundred uh, fucking <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so you know, like typical, uh, the, like black hole stuff, dude. Event horizons, yeah. uh, singularities. Yeah. Schwartzfield radii. Oh, shit. Right? Assertion disc. Ah, oh, dude, that's my shit. Right? I love assertion disc. <laughs> so down with them. Yeah, go watch a YouTube video, right. dude. I did. I still don't fucking get it. I got a little it. bit more to touch base on that. Go ahead. Um, well, they, what they compared it to was like, or what, uh, one thing I thought was kind of cool was like, you know, everyone was like, but why is it so fucking blurry? I mean, and they're like, well, think about the first picture we ever took of Pluto. Now we have like high res images. Yeah. Of so like, yeah. it's just going to get better and better and better. Yeah. Um, it's they, difficult to take a picture of something that basically devours light. Right. Essentially, it, we only got a picture of kind of like the area around it. The black part in the center is actually like the shadow of yeah. the thing. It's so fucking So weird, basically dude. a little, t a little bit other about this. So yeah, mm -hmm. basically it was like. Imagine like eight people recording the same video from eight different spots and then merging them all together. Yeah. But they were all over the five different continents, eight telescopes. It said that what they did was they uh, used atomic clocks to sync up their their capture. They all recorded radio signals with super fast data recorders that were made specifically for this task. Mm -hmm. And here here's the part. Uh, it says that the data they got was copied. It was five petabytes of information. I don't like the way that sounds. It said it was more than a half ton of hard drives. Petabytes? And, and how they compared it, it said it would be 5,000 years of MP3s. <laughs> or one point... Actually, this is in the, the article I read. What is an MP3? Oh, whatever, dude. <laughs> it said 1.39 billion copies of Old Town Road by Little Nas X. Oh, that's Jesus that's Christ. in a fucking form that you can relate what do you, to. What is that supposed to be, Jonas? You just talked about it last week. That's so I'm offended still All for right. some reason. But here's the part that I wanted to read out. This was the fucking cool... There was so much information, this five mm. petabytes... Mm. It was too much information to send via the internet. The internet could yeah. not handle. They, they had to the, send it on planes. They sent <laughs> to like airplanes with all these hard drives. It was faster to send it by airplane than yeah. it would have been to send it over the internet. Yeah. It took six months for 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 the information to come from Antarctica. I yeah, think, which is crazy. I didn't even know they had a satellite yeah. in or like yeah. A, a thing in so if you can imagine Antarctica. how long it takes you to download an Xbox game, how long it takes you to download like a, there was so much information <laughs> they Xbox couldn't game. even send the fucking info over the internet because it, it would have like broke the internet. Yeah, well, it took forever. It was more information than the internet has, I guess. I yeah, don't I don't. Yeah, I guess, dude. I don't, I don't know, know where they got all that space, dude. Where are they buying their hardware, <sighs> dude? You know, they got Google's stuff yeah now they're using all that shit to mine for bitcoins <laughs> <laughs> they me. sure are uh yeah that that girl who in invented the algorithm she's like you know what we should do now mine some bitcoin woman that invented the <laughs> algorithm yeah yeah well yeah well, shout out to her man she did her shit she's like 20 something years old man good Ooh. for fucking her smarter Great. smarter and more money than we ever have but just you know what I, I thought of when I saw it? it's like if if a mo if a twenty six year old scientist can do that now yeah she's gonna be alive for a while and just what other shit is she gonna come up with she's gonna be like they're they're saying she may be uh, the the youngest ever uh, Nobel Nobel Prize winner or some shit mm. because she, usually you're like old when you, when you come up with something that huge that's like the most groundbreaking shit that's happened in a long time it's a really big story I wonder I wonder if she's single. <laughs> Call her up, dude. Like I feel like I feel like somebody needs to lock that pussy down. 
Jesus. What? Seriously, Locked what's wrong with this? Wow, okay. What is this? I mean, I'm not a gold digger. I'm not after her for her money. I'm after her for your mind, baby. I respect your mind. Okay. All right. Call me. Well, you know she's probably watching. Call TNT. <laughs> lady scientist. Yeah, lady scientist. Call TNT up. <laughs> Call me. So, with that being said, it probably took them a lot of work to get that photo done well yeah like i said this shit happened in 2017 where they actually did like the week of gather gathering the data yeah and then it took them like another year just to, to compi it compile it all so yeah you know and you know what else is a lot of work uh beating off in the morning is that no you're not going does that work the, mm, labor love <laughs> i guess so so have you ever heard of uh, a 996 <laughs> the number nine 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 six nine hundred ninety six. Yes, it's four no, away from a it's thousand. A, uh, it's in regards to like a work schedule. No, Jonas. So I guess recently, tech workers in China. Mm -hmm. uh, they said it was on GitHub. Maybe I'm just like out of loop. I don't know what GitHub is. It's maybe I don't know if it's a Chinese like platform or whatever. But some tech work tech tech workers in China start joking about a nine nine six dot ICU. Like kind of a meme, a Chinese meme. Well, basically, what it meant was the amount of work they're forced to work, nine to nine, six days a week, will put you in the ICU because you have to do it all the time. So China has labor laws that say you can't work more than forty hours a week, okay, and you can't work more than thirty-six hours of overtime in a specific period. Really? But just like the U.S., I mean, it's just, it's a very similar thing. I don't know if the U.S. has these same laws. Though, yeah, well, well, but China. Is China. <laughs> so, but basically what's happening is those are the laws, but they're forcing employees to work these long hours, 12 hours a day, six days a week. Mm -hmm. But in some of them aren't getting paid overtime. They're just forcing them to work them. And basically when this started on GitHub, it started gaining momentum. And they, people started compiling a list of companies that, that do this. And before you know it, there was 150 companies that have been added that got added to this list that are forcing their employees to work mandatory 12 hour days, six days a week. Mm. Companies such as ByteDance, I've never heard of them. <laughs> what are they? Uh, Hawaii, I don't know if Hawaii, the Chinese like cell phone manufacturer, the one that like that they said, oh, we're not. They're like now they're saying they have spyware and shit built in and all this other shit. TikTok, where your little where where your boy. Your man's Nas X got his start. <laughs> <laughs> You're like TikTok. You know what that is, Dynamite, right? Yeah, well, you said that's where little Nas X got his party Dude, started. You're such a dad. Keep I going. Get out of here. <laughs> you do. You, the dad. way you said it. The way you presented TikTok was just like <laughs> how a father would present it to their 15-year-old son. You're like TikTok. That's where your man Nas X came from, right? Old Town Road. I got the horses in the back. All right, keep going. You're all right, guy. You're good. You're good kid. Uh, you didn't tell me a lot. <laughs> sure, you like it. <laughs> also, there's another company, Alibaba. You've heard of that? Alibaba.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sell a lot of uh, stuff. Yeah, <laughs> everything, of, basically. Yeah. Um, they enforce a nine ten six. Damn. They force their employees to work nine a.m. to ten p.m. six days a week. Damn. The com the CEO of the company was called out about this and his response was if you come to alibaba you better be ready to work 12 hours a week or 13 hours a day because why are you coming here to work if you don't expect to do that we don't need slackers who work eight hours a day i used to work tw i used to wake up every two hours to make sure i could provide 24 hour customer service and out in my head i go yeah but if they message you right after you fall back asleep like they it's not like really live. Uh, all right, look. Okay, okay. Look, I see the problem. I, I, I do. I see the problem. Do you? But they're not underpaying these people, are they? Like they're paying. They're not them. getting paid for some of these hours. Like they're forcing them to work this, and they're not paying them. That's the other problem. They're making them just work. Well, see, now that's just like that's communism, exactly. <laughs> that's, God, no, China, that's not communism. That. Communism is at least fair. They make you, you know, you get paid for fair working. to what. So whatever the government said. I mean, yeah, but I don't look. Okay, I don't know what the fuck communism is. It's not. But fair. I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's this goddamn not even immoral but illegal to make somebody work hours and not pay them. Yeah, well, that is absolutely illegal. So I just don't like. How are they getting away? Because with it? China's communist, they can do what they want. 
And that's the problem. They're working people to death, essentially. Are they paying them, like, a salary? Dude, I don't know. See, Jonas, Dude, I need to know the intricacies. But basically... So I can come up with a good idea of what's Well, what's happening. basically happening to these people is, you know, they're, they're to the point where they're joking about if they work there, they end up in the hospital because they work so much. Oh, I see, yeah. you know, intensive care unit. But basically, at this point, these businesses are a machine. And if one little part falls off or doesn't want to do it, there's somebody else who will step up and do it. But you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. it's so, and that's kind of how shit becomes a good example of something kind of similar that I, I could think of is back when Xbox 360 was a thing, they came out with avatars and you had to buy fake clothes for your avatar. Uh, yes, I did that yeah, a lot. You're actually. part of the problem. So if, if no one would have purchased these, Yes. They would have started giving them away for free because it would have been pointless to continue. But mm. since they make money off them, why yeah. would they ever stop? So at this point, they have people willing to do it. So why will they ever stop? Show this. Why do you hate? <laughs> why do you hate free enterprise, man? Dude, I just think. Why do you hate oh, it? Oh, don't even. Go. Essentially, this is this is what America is built on. That that I right there. I need to. Live I feel it. like it's a bad analogy, honestly. What? Because you're saying, hey, they're selling a product that's you think it's stupid, but I mean, if they didn't sell tampons, it's not going to affect you either. So, how I was, does Avatar clothes affecting <laughs> anyone in their life? How is it not? I mean, it's not affecting you. I, I, I mean, it just doesn't affect you. I guess somebody so. else might get a good feeling. <laughs> they might get a mental. My avatar is looking real snazzy. Yeah, the sheep dude, helmet it makes people feel good. Just because it did nothing for all you right. doesn't mean that it doesn't have a purpose. All right, all I feel right. like, but like seriously, I don't have a problem with a job that says, "Hey, look, if you're gonna come and work for our country, our company, you have to work this amount of hours. As long as you're getting compensated, you're getting your proper overtime." Honestly. Sometimes people need that kick in the ass to work those extra hours by saying, look, you're going to have to work this. I would probably work a lot more if my company that I currently work for, other than the crazy town LLC, they decide to pay, they were like, hey, you have to work uh, six days a week, eight hour days. I'd be like, well, that kind of sucks. But on the second hand, I'm getting a bigger check. Yeah, I worked at a place that it was mandatory 50 hours a week. Yeah. But we got paid for 50 hours a week. See, I don't know, man. That whole them not getting paid thing, that's kind of like... That's, cause, well, the whole that's where the infuriation would come in. It's like in. the communism, man. But that, that's not what communism yeah, is. It, it com yeah, it is. is they it? can do whatever they want. I mean, they can... They, like, they have like a separate Google engine with shit they don't want seen. They scrub the internet of images of Tiananmen Square and Winnie the Pooh because people compare the fucking leader to Winnie the Pooh. Like, you... It's not de democratic. It's They don't elect their leaders. Their leaders are appointed. They can do what they want everything is at the right. hand of the government all right i understand they can do what they want but just like being a straight up evil like yeah. slave driver is like a little bit different than i do what i want dude i do what i want yeah i filter the internet you can't play certain video games these movies aren't coming into our country i was actually going to do another china story I, I wish i had now at this point well what is it well, I mean, you can touch on it real quick uh, uh, you can get the quick or is it or is it like something we gotta like delve it, it's into? something i would like to kind of get into but it kind of we'll, we'll do it next week as a matter of fact it's, all right it's an evergreen topic but there's a point where it's just like okay big brother's watching you you know you can't have this you can't have these things in your right. household to hey guess what uh, i'm gonna need you to work 80 hours this week and we're only gonna pay you for 40 <laughs> that's like a whole nother level of evil genius like just fucking like you're a super villain at that point yeah dude the <laughs> dude I just don't see how communism now was like a viable form of government and you know it it, it had altruistic uh, intentions initially. I just don't see that correlating with yeah, democracy. Um, yeah, those intentions too, my friend. I, I just don't see that with like a, a southern plantation owner who is just making people work in the fields. Dude, <laughs> but Kim, like Kim Jong Un in North Korea, like fucking just like kills people because <laughs> they sell drugs or whatever, dude. Like, I mean, that's the that's communism too. They're yeah, like, but the goddamn Saudis do the same thing, and they ain't no communists. They got a kingdom, dude. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> I keep saying they can do what they want. All right, I don't know. Either way, fucked up, dude. Nobody should be working. Up. People need to be properly compensated for every hour that they put in. If that is the case for sure in that story, Jonas, then fuck the motherfuckers. That's some bullshit. Yeah, I'm angry. I feel you. I don't. I 
I like your labor law. You think pride. I'm a communist, Jonas? <laughs> no. <laughs> if anybody's a communist, it's you, Wow, you, dude. You know, you've been shitting on free enterprise all episode. <laughs> dude, I love enterprises. <laughs> Their rental rates are great. Oh, I'm joking. Guess what, Jonas? It's not going to get any sweeter because my next story is kind of... Well, this will be the last one of the episodes, so you bring it. You send us home. All right, happens. Jonas. Uh, t- today, New Jersey became the ninth city. Today in... And New Jersey's a state, not a city. But that's what New Jersey. Oh yeah, it is a state. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I always think of New York City and then New Jersey. I mean, it's kind of the same. Yeah. Thing. So anyway, I mean, the New York Giants play in New Jersey. Uh, yeah, okay. That's true. New York Jets. All right. Play so in New yeah, New Jersey became the ninth state to allow medically assisted suicide for terminally ill patients. Only terminally ill. Only terminally ill. Essentially. A doctor has to come to you and tell you you only have six months to live, and then you have to tell him that you wish to start uh, basically the medications that's eventually going to lead to your death. Okay. And then Why don't they just like legal he, inject you? He has to ask you twice. I, I mean, I guess like this is like a more humane they route. They feed you antifreeze for six months? No, Jones, they don't feed you anything for six months. They give you like a couple pills. and. Oh, know. I got you. So like they ask you and then six months later they yeah. ask you again. Apparently, I, I mean, I wouldn't know. But apparently the process is relatively painless. The medications, I mean, there's a thousand different things you can put to the human body and kill it. Right, right, in right. In its sleep. Right, right, right. Um, that makes sense. But the, the, the thing is, is that there has been a little bit of an issue with this. As you would have. Really? You, as you would imagine someone's gonna have a problem with there's a social himself. issue in the fact of like how, how, let's let's discuss how you how you how you look at it i think this is with. wonderful you think it's all right i think that you should be able to do it if you aren't sick really if you aren't terminal really like I mean, for like mental like people with no, mental man, disorders like, or something? i think now obviously like you said it can't just be like well I'm feeling shitty today walk into the suicide clinic no that no 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 it's getting real futurama like yeah there, dude man. no but like i think if suicide uh, booths on the street i don't know man i i think that I, there would have to be a process in place but i mean like if you're so fucking miserable that you can't fat stand being alive and it continues for year after year after year and you've tried fucking therapies and you've tried medicines and you don't want to be around anymore i think so, I mean, it's your life, right? So, yeah, but you say it's your life. But then you say it's like, if you've gone through these steps and there's no other recourse that you think there is. So, no matter what, you're still putting stipulations on yeah, the people yeah. that should I, well, be Well, I don't think, hurt. yeah, I literally don't be like, man, I'm having a shitty day. Let's go to the suicide. Nah, dude. Because, like, people... All right. Someday downs are real down. You know what I mean? Like you can be like. See, you know, and, and for me, it's either like it's either like a hundred percent or like not at all. Okay. So I'm you. either like people should not be allowed to kill themselves, or I'm like do whatever the fuck you want. It's your life. You yeah, know? man. I mean, that's I mean that's kind of how I feel about a lot of. Shit. I think it's, it's life. It, like it's honestly it's illegal to it try is. to commit suicide. It is like if you fail, not only did you fail to kill yourself, you get in trouble. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, so great. Thanks. Yeah, double, right? Yeah. I really need to go to jail now. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Like, oh boy, I was I was fucking I hated my life a lot then. Now I'm maimed and I fucking uh yes. and I gotta go to jail. Great. So, so the issue is that uh I was watching a a person who had some commentary on it. He kind of brought it to my idea. To it was my, just like a news person or like it was, man. Okay. But it was like it was honestly like some Christian programming. Oh, shit. okay. But he did bring a good point okay. and it was you can already see since this law has passed that some that some of the other states where it has passed is that they're offering this pill in place of some of the treatments that they would usually offer to a person with this. Like what? Um, like hospice, essentially. Oh, because they're terminal. Yeah. I got you. Or like the uh, the clinical care that a, a cancer, a terminally, a terminally ill person with cancer. Like, would... Some people like drugs to make you feel, not feel pain, and then you just kind of like yeah. So easily you're just like fucked up for like the last like yeah. Or we could just give you a pill that kills you. I don't know. It's yeah, it's, it's really touchy <laughs> for me. I don't honestly. It, it don't really affect me too much, but I don't really know how to feel about it. Yeah, I um, mean... I think that people should have the autonomy and the ability to do whatever the fuck they want I, with their bodies, whether that be whatever drug they want to put in or that be whatever, like, however long they want to live. But it, it's 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 starting to spread, man. It's, uh, it's, I mean, this shit's been going on since Dr. Kevorky and back in the 90s. Yeah, but it you know was illegal I mean? then. Yeah, but... Now, there the, was a so, court case. So how wrong was he? 
because yeah. now it's getting legal. So, I mean, Facts. everyone was like, oh, shit, let's take him to jail. But here we are. It's legal in the United States. Facts. But what, he was like a pioneer of the assisted suicide industry. Yeah. And I mean, I, his shit was a little different. But, yeah. but I, mean, I agree with the, term, with the terminally ill. If you are terminally ill, you've only been told you got six months to live, and you're living in pain, then yeah, dude, yeah, those dude. people should. And then that's where it should start, is that those people should, but is that only the start? Right, right, right. Yeah, I feel is you, it, man. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a hard time. It's one of those topics. It's like it's almost too big to wrap your mind around. Yeah. So. So. You know, well, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Depressing. <laughs> Should have saved uh, the billboards for last. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, right. One eight hundred two seven three eighty two fifty five. That's the suicide hotline. <laughs> if you're feeling bad, call that. Don't take Doctor Kevorkian's words. <clears throat> you, you know any, what? You got anything else, dude? I can. I'll. I. I'll, you know what? We're we're getting. We're pretty much at time. But I'll put a <laughs> palate cleanser in. It's quick. Jackson, Mississippi. Florida. Someone has stolen <laughs> wheels off of three cop cars. No, this is definitely Florida. <laughs> so they said there, there was a uh, three cop cars parked behind a police museum. <laughs> and I go, there's no fucking security at a police museum? I mean, like, what the fuck? They don't know when they were taken, but, but they took all the wheels off three cop cars and left them on bricks. Jonas, where the fuck do you come up with this shit? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's real stories, though. I mean, yeah, it's a real story. <laughs> Also, not not to mention, this is the second time it's happened. I was going to say, it's weeks. probably the 20th time this has happened. The other time they stole the tires and the rims off a cop car outside of a police a training academy. It looks like they don't train the officers very well there. Oh, my God. And that cleansed the suicide palate, did folks. You, did you hear about the cop that showed up to his training? He was drunk. And it was the training was the training on how to use the breath. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was like that's what he did. It he for. showed up drunk, but he didn't drive. His partner drove, but he still showed up to work drunk. Oh Jesus just, Christ! Just a little funny. All thing. right. All well, right. that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining us. Whether you joined us live or you're listening on a replay. <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash Crazy Town Media Live. That's how you watch us live every week. Crazy Town Media on YouTube. That's every replay. Shortly after this is done, I put them up. Spotify, iTunes, if you want audio only, you got to look at our pretty faces because you only get to see our eyes anyways. TNT doesn't think that's a good idea. I'm not showing my face to these jerks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but love, you know what? I love you. Every week we bring some shit and we <coughs> love that you come and join us. Yeah, we do. So, but for Jonas... That's this guy. For TNT Dynamite. That's me. We. And Chester Clay. <laughs> we. Are. Out.